this year we really want to up our mock scrape program so last year we tried it was a little late but we tried the scrape fix with some success but like i said it was it was a little late so we didn't expect that we had got more success than we thought we were going to get and now we're going to start early like you should putting the scrape out late in the season or even during the season isn't really good we uh want to do it a lot earlier so here it is it's spring just greened up and uh so we're hanging this we're trying the vine by straight fix and their velvet formula so all you got to do is take it squirt it and that's it i'm really surprised i'm really glad about how how versatile it is how it'll go anywhere because it really wrapped around that tree branch really easy i thought i was going to have to use paracord to hang it up but it's up there real sturdy so so far i mean it's, it's, it's i really like this so now we'll uh be we got a camera on it right now and we'll be seeing how it works this is an area that is actually really good for us for scrapes they do a scrape line down here we're going to be making the trail come through here because we want them to do a scrape in this area because we've got a tree stand over here in the middle in there but we got we always get tons of scrapes here over here so we wanted to bring in this area like i said we're starting it now and We'll show you what, what happens. What is a buck scrape? Well, a buck scrape is a, a branch that a deer or that a buck will lick on, and then he'll and underneath that is a pot up area that he will uh, leave a scent in, and then he'll lick on the branch, basically marking his territory on you know on your wherever he's at. And then uh, what's so important about that is he'll leave that he'll do all that. And it also then a doe will come by and it will urinate in that scrape and when the doe becomes hot a, the buck will come back through find out that that doe is hot and he's got only a small window of time to find about 36 hours of finder and impregnator for that season so that's why we put up mock scrapes is to get it and then put them in the area you can use it for yourself you can use it to your advantage so how many mock scrapes should i put out well, bucks are going to put a lot of scrapes up. As far as mock scrapes go, just put, you know, get a few to where you want to point them and put them in the place you want them to be. So that's the most important thing about mock scrapes. If you utilize it right, it could be a really good advantage for a hunter. So, and that's what we're going to be doing. That's what we're getting out this year. And we're going to put putting more out and use them better, using them more to our advantage. The better you understand it, the better it is. Be sure to subscribe to our page and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest to get more additional content.